guys so welcome back to the first sit down video of the year i cannot believe it is 2023 and it feels a little weird to pull out the camera sit down and talk to you guys because i haven't done it in a while i wanted to sit down today and give you guys an update of how life has been over the past few months explain my absence a little bit give you an update on my weight loss surgery and just fill you in on all the things so if you're new to my channel my name is ali and i'm an orlando based flight attendant and i vlog about my life as a mom as a flight attendant throwing a little bit of lifestyle a little bit of everything so make sure to turn on your notification bells and subscribe to this channel i would love to have you here make sure to also follow me on tiktok and instagram i'm very active there i'm actually posting pretty much every single day there so make sure to follow me there so that you never miss an update so a little bit of a life update so the last time i did a video like this was probably in september I believe uh, I sat down and I told you guys about my weight loss surgery that I had in August in Colombia and then I told you guys that my family was going through a rough time because my sister was sick and um, she ended up passing away in October and I think I did mention that here when she passed away um, but after she passed away I started grieving and started going through the whole process and kind of trying to figure out a way to deal with it on my own and I do have therapy I do have help uh, so that's been helpful um, but I actually had to plan the funeral after losing my sister I pretty much went through a roller coaster of emotions there were days where I would be okay and there were days where I would be a mess they would be days where I would just be angry and pretty much going through every single one of the steps of grieving and I've never had to grieve someone that close to me so I don't know what to expect you know so my anxiety went through the roof because I would wake up every morning not knowing how I was going to feel that day I would wake up and wonder is today the day that I'm gonna feel good is today a day that I'm gonna feel guilty because I feel good is it the day that I'm going to feel sad I'm gonna miss her um, so I just had a lot of anxiety so thankfully with the help of a therapist um, and my psychologist I've been able to kind of find ways to grieve properly um, in the past before my surgery I would have eaten my feelings and I would have resorted to food as comfort unfortunately this time I kind of started shopping because I couldn't eat so I started shopping and that wasn't good um i had a reason to shop obviously because my clothes doesn't fit me so i needed to buy clothes but i started buying more than i should have in my opinion um uh, thankfully not to the point that it's going to affect my family this is just me being real and being open this is a life update and i'm opening up to you guys but thankfully i was able to slam the brakes on that and i'm working on it but everything is starting to get better um, the grieving is still hard. Uh, there are days where, like I said, I'm fine. And there are days where it just hits me. Oh my gosh, I don't have a sister anymore. Um, I was in charge of planning the funeral and that was hard. And then I, ha I was in charge of hair, makeup, and nails, which was even harder. I was not expecting for it to be as hard as it was. Um, and then when everything was finished, um, it hit me really really bad and i had to go through that again um so i just wasn't motivated to post uh i started actually posting a lot on tiktok and instagram so that kind of helped me too like it was a distraction but for some reason i just couldn't bring myself to to do it on youtube so i decided to take a step back and i also wasn't working so i didn't have any content to to post anyway and I just have it in my head that people don't care about anything that's not flight attendant related so that would stop me from wanting to post and feeling motivated to post other than that we went to Spain you guys saw the vlog and it was great I got to spend Christmas with both of my parents my parents are separated they've been divorced since like I was 15 they got separated when I was 12 but they've been divorced since I was 15 and it was nice to spend Christmas with them again. My kids got to see both sets of grandparents together, which was amazing. Um, so it was great. I loved that vacation. 
and now we're back trying to get back into the groove of things and everything so my goal this year is to pretty much just post whatever it is that i want to post as well as what you guys want me to post as well and do a little bit of both i love posting the flight attendant content but it's not always possible for me to post the flight attendant content because my kids are my priority and i do have the seniority to be able to drop my trips and stay home with the kids i want to post a lot of day in the lives whether i'm at home and i know that some of you guys enjoy it so i would post those videos for you guys uh, as well so i hope you guys are excited i'm gonna give you guys an update on my weight loss the first thing is i don't know if you can tell but i don't have my extensions in i took my extensions out because i am in the in the process of losing hair i have lost so much hair it is i want to say it's worse than postpartum hair loss because I don't remember noticing it as much after I had a baby or maybe it's because I have my hair shorter this time around. I don't know, but my hairstylist recommended to take the extensions out so that we wouldn't be putting a lot of weight on my hair. But every time I go in the shower, chunks of hair come off, which is completely normal. It's completely normal. It's part of the process of getting the surgery because since I'm eating less, I'm getting a lot less nutrients in. So I do have to go out of my way to find ways to get those nutrients in with multivitamins, stuff like that. So I do have to try a little bit harder to get those nutrients in, but I'm still losing weight very fast. So if you didn't know, back in August, I had a surgery. It's called bariatric surgery. I have a whole video explaining why I got the surgery and all that. So if you want to go see why I got it before you leave a comment down below, go check out that video. I do explain why I got the surgery and all that. So I'm going to share my stats with you guys as well. I'm going to share the doctor with you. I'm going to share everything. So before we get into that though, if we're talking about hair. I really want to tell you about something I'm going to start and, and I want to be transparent about this because it's a process and it's a journey. It's a hair growth journey that I'm starting. So I am partnering up with iRestore Hair Growth System and they sent out a whole kit for me to try out their shampoo, vitamins, so that I can start with the hair regrowth because honestly, it's really affecting me. <laughs> I have not had, I don't know if you can tell, but for now I have it sleeked back and this is the only way I have felt comfortable with my hair lately but you can see that I'm like very, very thin hair now. And I've always had thin, fine hair, but now it's even worse. I'm gonna show you guys everything that they sent so that you guys have an idea of what it is that I'm going to start doing. And I'm gonna give you guys an update on this whole entire process and journey. All right, first things first is the star of the show, which is the device. This is FDA cleared it's for both men and women. It's supposed to help support hair growth in any her hereditary hair loss as well. So. George, my husband, has some thinning as well. So I want him to try this out too and see how it works for him. So this is how it comes. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to share with you guys what it is that I'm doing and what I'm getting started on because I want, I want you guys to see the beginning, the progress, and then the results. So this is what the device looks like. So it's like a little helmet. You put it over your head. As you can see, it has the little lights right here that help stimulate the hair growth so it is low level light therapy and you put this on your head and then you also have other products that you can use as well so they did send over their anti-thinning hair loss shampoo and conditioner so i'm going to be using these in conjunction every time i wash my hair and it has biotin keratin amino acids and argan oil which are all things that help stimulate hair growth and the shampoo has antioxidants aloe and also amino acids it says that you're supposed to leave on for two minutes that way you allow the nutrients absorb into your scalp they also sent a serum which i like trying out serums i like the fact that it's not an oil and that it's a serum so it's not going to make my already thinning hair oil even an oily scalp even more oily so this you apply a generous amount with the dropper and onto your clean scalp in the areas of hair loss so i have some here and i have some here and then you use this twice a day so this is supposed to promote fuller looking hair it strengthens it it nourishes your hair and then on top of that because i do agree with the fact that you have to try everything from the outside but you also have to work on the inside 
to help promote that hair loss. And so they have their three-in-one hair growth formula, which has biotin, saw palmetto, DHT blocker. This is supposed to help promote thicker and fuller hair. You take two tablets of these daily with a meal, and then in conjunction with all the topical stuff, this should work and help you with that. So I was very excited when they reached out because I, I knew that the hair loss was going to be a thing after the surgery. But now that I'm like in the thick of it, <laughs> I'm so grateful that I actually have something to help me with this. So the way it works is that your hair follicles are pretty much getting nutrients for from the light. So the good thing is that I can pretty much just be sitting at home watching TV, watching a movie and just have this. I just do this every other day and then you start seeing results within within three to six months. So also, what is the difference between this and then other devices? So other devices either only have lasers or only have the LED lights. Meanwhile, the iRestore one has both to help get the right amount of lights to help stimulate the hair follicles. It is hands-free, so you can multitask while you're doing things. You can use this in conjunction with like PRP treatments and stuff like that, so that will also help with the hair growth process as well. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. That way you're able to learn more about the device. And then also for a limited time, you can use my code. That way you're able to get $400 off a pro device. Once again, thank you so much to iRestore for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm really excited to see how this works because your girl needs it. Okay, so besides the hair loss, I have experienced a lot of weight loss. So let me tell you about my BMI, my weight, and all that before uh, I get into everything else. So I am 5'4", and at the time of my surgery, I was 203 pounds, and I was, my BMI was, I believe, 33. I can't remember exactly, but I believe it was 33. To, and, and the reason why I went to Colombia, if you don't watch the other video, is because in Colombia, I was able to qualify for the, for the surgery. Now, it doesn't mean that I didn't qualify in the US, because I did qualify for the US, but I would have to pay out of pocket and it's over $20,000. <laughs> so I did not want to spend that money. And in Colombia, in order for you to qualify your BMI, I believe had to be either 30 or 31. Mine was at 33 and it was a lot cheaper. I think I spent a total of including everything, airfare, hotel, food, shopping, everything. I spent like a total of $7,000 on the trip and i paid for it myself i had saved up for it like it was it was all me the surgery itself was a little less than two thousand dollars plus all the cost of the hospital anesthesia tests and all that it, it came close to five thousand dollars so it's not a little bit of money but it's also not twenty thousand dollars eighteen thousand dollars like it would be here in the u.s so the day of my surgery i was 203 pounds and today, which is January, 2023, I am 151 pounds. So I have lost a little over 50 pounds. I have not been 150 pounds since I pretty much started my YouTube channel back in 2016. So it's definitely amazing to be this again. I went from being a size 14, 16 to now being six, eight, 10, depending on the brand. I feel healthy. I feel great. I feel confident. I feel happy. According to the doctor, I'm still going to lose about 20 more pounds because within the first year you do lose a lot of weight and then eventually your your body kind of like levels itself out. So the ideal weight for me to be at is 135 pounds. I'm honestly happy at 150. If I lose weight, I know it's just part of the process. Like I'm going to continue losing weight, but I'm not actively trying to lose weight. What I'm trying to do right now is tone up at the gym and create a healthy lifestyle. I have completely changed my life around. It's insane how much my life has changed after the surgery. I used to be able to eat four slices of pizza in one sitting and then I would have ice cream afterwards. Now I'm lucky if I even finish one slice of pizza. I don't look to food for comfort, which is the biggest thing. I have improved my relationship with food now and now I see it as something that I need to live and get through the day not to seek comfort in if that makes sense so i have had to worry a lot about the pro amount of protein that i'm taking in because protein is very important when it comes to getting the surgery because if i don't have enough sur protein i get dizzy i get lightheaded i feel weak i do have to drink a lot of water as well which is something that i've always struggled with so i am still working on drinking a lot of water there have been some struggles I have had 
times where I get sick because I chew too fast. And the thing is that your stomach is so much smaller now that you can't take large amounts of food in. So I have to eat very slow. And what the psychologist told me, because I did have to see a psychologist through the whole surgery, was um, to take one bite with like a spoon or fork, whatever, set it down, put my hands down on my lap, chew, wait a few seconds, and then go in and get another one. So don't hold on to the fork because then what do you do? You just go like this, you know? And so it's such a habit to do that, that I was choking, the, the food wasn't, you know, there wasn't enough space in my stomach for me to be able to consume all that food. And then also drinking and eating at the same time because you cannot eat or drink at the same time because your stomach only has room for one or the other. So you drink about 30 minutes before you eat and then 30 minutes after you eat. So that's been a little bit of an adjustment and I'm still struggling with that. Sometimes I forget. Um, I did have to let go of coffee for a little bit during the first month not coffee but caffeine i couldn't have caffeine because it would dehydrate me so that was hard as well i did go through the whole soft pureed food process that was hard but what was even harder was when i was clear to eat regular food my nutritionist told me that i was able to have whatever my stomach tolerated and trying to figure out what my stomach tolerated was very hard and it was very oh man it was very challenging i would find myself running to the bathroom and i would get sick i would you know sorry tmi i would throw up because i just didn't have space for my food and and it was a lot i do miss fizzy drinks i do have a soda every now and then because i love the carbonation but i'm very careful with it and uh it has to be sugar free so the what the doctor told me is that i have to have like a diabetic diet from now on so i can't have a lot of sugars i i can't everything has to be zero sugar pretty much and which is great because i get sick if i have anything sugary there have been times where i've i've said oh i'm just gonna have a little bit of sugar i end up paying for it i get really sick i get lightheaded i get dizzy it's called dumping syndrome the most asked question and i think i get questions all the time on instagram but i didn't want to answer until i made the video is my doctor so i'm going to leave my doctor's information down below he is in colombia uh so if you want to travel to colombia and he is an amazing doctor i went to probably one of the best doctors in in colombia when it comes to this my friend's husband actually had the surgery done by him so he was recommended by a very trusted friend who is a doctor. My friend's husband is a doctor, so he's not just gonna go with anyone. And he was great. He was very, very, very good at what he does. And he does surgery out of Medellin, Bogota, and Cali. So you do have a little bit of options when it comes to where you wanna get your surgery done. I got my surgery done in Cali because that is like the main place where he does his surgeries. The clinic was able to help me find a place to stay and they were able to get me transportation and all that, which was also a separate expense. It was not part of the $5,000. I did have to pay, I think 1100 for 12 days stay at a hotel with all three meals included, which was amazing. So I think that's pretty much it as far as my update on my surgery. I can't think of anything else. I did ask you guys, to ask me on Instagram any questions, but I already answered all of those. I do want to make these more often. So as like the months go by, so when I have six months of post-surgery, a year post-surgery, stuff like that, I do want to be able to share that with you. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I will gladly answer them for you. I'm excited to get back into making videos, creating content. I have missed you guys so much and I'm so glad to be back. I'm going to be consistent. That is one of my goals this year to stay consistent on social media and just be consistent in everything that I am doing in life. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Ivor's store in the comments, in the description box down below and make sure to say hi in the comments. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.